my people welcome back to my channel if this is your first time checking on this channel make sure you like share and subscribe i appreciate everyone who has subscribed so far to this channel i love you all in today's tutorial we'll be looking at how to make a princess pasty at all so let's get started so i'll be using this ankara fabric for our top firstly i'll fold my fabric into two fold it into two i'll mark out my half length the half length i'll be using is 15 is 14 i'll add one inch extra for seam allowance this is 14 then one inch for seam allowance so in total i'm using 15 inches this 14 the actual half length then one inch extra for seam allowance i will go ahead and take my shoulder measurement the shoulder measurements i'll be using for this blouse is 15 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 so i'll mark out my 7.5 So this is 7.5. I'll come down by one inch. Then on my leg nine line, I'll measure three inch, three inches. I'll measure three inches. This is a constant for shoulder slope. Three inches on the neck line and one inches below the shoulder measurement. So I'll just go ahead and connect the line together. Okay. I'll also come down after the shoulder slope with four inches. Okay. It's four inches. Shoulder to nipple measurement. My shoulder to nipple measurement is 10. I'll be adding half an inch extra, making it 10.5. So I'll mark 10.5. My underboss measurement is 13. I'll also add half an inch. Okay, we are now having three lines. Our under bust line, our bust line. I will take the distance between the under bust line and the bust line. Whatever I have there, I will also take it out on my chest line. So what I'm having here is three. So I'll come up here and take three inches. Whatever you have between your under bust and your bust line, you mark it also on your chest line. That's your upper boss. So I have three inches here. So. so I'll go ahead and take my nipple to nipple measurement. My nipple to nipple measurement is seven. Seven divided by two is 3.5. So that 3.5, I'll be adding half inch extra for joining allowance. So on the First line I'll come with four inches. On the chest line I'll also take four inches. On my under bust line I'll do same to all the lines. So I just took four inches straight down. On the ample I'll come by four inches after the slope. You can see where I placed my tape. I'll come down by four inches. So that's the four inches I marked earlier on. I'll connect the lines together. 
First of all, I'll connect these three lines together before I join with this one. Okay, can you see what we are having? So this is our center front. I'll go ahead and cut this out and I'll make sure I notch all the lines, the three lines, the chest line, the bust line, the under bust line. I'll notch the lines. So I'm cutting it out now. see this is what we have here so we use this piece now to cut our side parts the fabric still on fold double fold you can see it's still on double fold I'll use my waist line my under bust line my bust line and my upper bust line so I'll be taking my measurement according to the lines now on my waist line I will take my waist measurement the waist I'll be working with is 28. 28 divided by 4 is 7. I'll add 2 inch seam allowance. I'll take seam 28 here on my underboss line. Add 2 inch allowance. On my boss line, I'll take my boss measurement. My boss measurement is 34. 34 divided by 4 is 8 and a half. I'll also add 2 inch, two inches allowance. My armhole measurement is 15, which is 7 and a half. Divide by 2 is 7 and a half. I'll just connect it like this. And I'll also connect the line together my under bust line my waistline and my bust line so i'll just carefully remove this remember we left three inches extra sorry before removing it i will trace out i'll trace out the center part this will help us as a guide. So just trace it out, then I'll remove it. This is what we have. So on the chest line, on the bust line, on the bust line, I'll come out by two and a half inches. Depending on the bust measurement, if it's someone that is very busty, you can go out by three inches. Two and a half, three inches, two inches, depending on the bust size. But we're using two and a half, in okay. two and a half inches. You can see. Then I'll trace it to this point. Then trace it to the under bust, like this. Just carefully trace it, giving it a fine curve. Connect it from this side like this. So this is what we have for our side bust here. I'll go ahead and cut it out. Then I'll cut out the lining for I'll cut out the back part. So this is the front part. This is the breast porch. So at this breast porch, I'll fold it in like this to cut the side back. I just folded the botch part for the breast in like this so that I can cut the side part of the back because the back will not be having a, bo a botched out breast because there's no breast at the back so I'll just fold it in like this using the line I traced out I just fold it in and I ironed it so it to help me give me a guide to cut out my back I folded my fabric into two to cut out my back part of my princess bust here i just left one inch here one inch here for zipper allowance this is it. one inch the line you are seeing here is for zipper allowance then i place my center front like this 
hope you can see it. I'll also trace out this part here. I'll trace it out like this. And see how I traced it out. This is my center side. See, I folded the breast part area inward like this. Then I placed it together with the center front. After placing it, I will trace out the body measurements, the ankle, the shoulder slope. This will make your work faster. Instead of marking all our friends, just trace it out. Since you have an accurate body measurement at the front side. So I'll remove it, then cut it out. So this is what you have. Then I'll just open up this side. Just put it open. So I've finished cutting our front and back princess poster top. I'll go ahead and cut the down pass before cutting the sleeve. This is what I'll be using for my feet. I'll be making a kissing pleat, a kissing pleat at the lower part. This will be a two-step pleated top. The difference is that it will be of same length, but one will be longer than the other. So the length of my blouse is 22. I used 14 inches for my half length. My half length is 14. 22 minus 14 is 8 inches plus 2 inches extra for seam allowance. I, I used 1 inch for the half length and I'm using 1 inch here. So what I'm having here is 9. I'll go over the explanation on how to do your kissing pleats. Why do your kissing pleats? You count the total number of pleats you are going to have on your top. I'll be having 8 for this top. 3 at the front, 3 at the back, and 2 at the side. Each pleat I'll be using 4 inches. When I pleat it this way, 2 inches and 2 inches the other way. 2 inches will meet 2 inches, making it 4 inch, inches. I'll do the same with that one. I will multiply the total number of pleats by the number of folding the inches I'll be using to fold it in. I'll be using four inches to fold it in times the total number of pleats, which is eight. Eight times four is thirty-two, plus two inches extra for zipper allowance. That will give us thirty-four. I will now add up thirty-four to my waist circumference. The waist I can press and working with is 28. 28 plus 34 is 62. So what I'm having here is 62. It's 62 inches long. This is what I'm using for my pleat. This one is also 62 inches long. But the length of this is 9 inches. 1 inches for my folding allowance. Why this? I removed 2 inches for it because I want it to be 2 step. This one will be shorter. So I, take, I took out 2 inches out of the first step to be two step the third blouse so this is it two inches difference so what i'm having here is seven why this is nine i'll go ahead now and cut out the lining for both the upper part and the lower part then i'll cut out my padded okay i almost forgot to cut out my leg neckline at times i love to join the front and the center front at the side before cutting my neck but let me just cut it down for you to see so for my neck for my center front my neck volume i'll be going down by six inches and I, I want i want the neck to be a little bit low i don't want it high six inches then my neck width i'll be using four and a half So 
I just marked out the neck. I came down by six inches, then the width I used four and a half. I want my neck to be, or I want my neck to be a little bit opened. So I just connected the line. I'll go ahead and cut it out. And also, for my back neck, I will come out by four and a half inches. Remember, I mark out my zipper allowance, so the half, four and a half inches will be after the zipper allowance. Then I'll come down by two and a half inches. So I'll just connect it. Okay, this is my back neck. I'll go ahead and cut it out before cutting my line. Okay, this is what I have, and this is the front neck. Okay. Just placed my front on my lining to cut it out. I'll just for the back part. I'll place it on the lining and cut it out. Okay, I've finished cutting out the lining for the front and back. I also cut out the lining for the lower part. The part I'll be using for our pleats. This is the lining for it. And I've cut my padded, my wadding out. This is it. I've used my iron to gum it neatly for both the side and the center front. I cut out the lining for the front. I will join the lining for both the front and the back. Why jo when joining my if I want to join my front padded, I feel I should let you guys know before joining it. So I will join it like this. I will join it this way, like this. If you want to join your front, your front princess padded, if you want to join your princess padded, you start from the down, from the waist side. You sew straight like this. You make sure you start from the down part. You don't start from the up. You start from the down. Then you join it neatly. You do same with the other side. So right now, go ahead and join it up and come back to show you guys. I have also cut out my sleeve. It will be a puff sleeve and as an exaggerated hand. It will be a very big exaggerated puff sleeve with band. So this is it. This is the puff part. This is the upper part of the hand. You can see how it is. Here it's looking very big. I will just gather it up like this. Like this. Then fix this side to the bodies of the blouse. <laughs> I have joined my front princess bust here. You can see the way it's standing very well. It's looking so beautiful. It's just standing firm. Look at how it is. It's standing very well. I'll go ahead and turn it with the lining. I've joined the lining. You have to join it separately. And this is the inside of it. This is how it is. I'll join the lining and use the lining to turn the neck. I'll turn both the front and the back with my lining and also turn the lower part with the lining before pleating it. Okay, I've finished lining my back body. I've lined the front as well. I use the lining to turn the neck. For the pleated area, this is the lining I'll be using on it. I'll be using this hard net. For the down part of my top, this hard net will make the kissing print to stand, and I have carefully matched it on the lining. You can choose to match your own on your main fabric, but I said to match my own on the lining. So, this is the second step. This is to have matched it with the strong nets with the lining. I'll go ahead now and use the lining to turn the main Ankara fabric I'll just place it like this I'll allow the main lining to face on the right part of the Ankara fabric like this when I match straight down I will turn it over like this and it will be looking very neat at the end the net will be the be in the inner part so the Ankara will be covering the net like this so I'll just face it this way the lining 
and the right face of the Ankara facing each other. I will sew it till the end. I'll just sew it straight down and I'll flip it over and match top stitch it before pleating it. Using the body measurement, I'll shape in the upper part. Then I will turn the down. Okay. You can see I've joined the two together. I'll just go and match it now on my sewing machine and I'll show you guys. Okay, I've done it. I've sewn it straight down. Look at how neat it's looking. Look at the other end of it. You can see the down. It's well turned and neat. Remember I said it will be a two-step pleated top. So I'll do the same thing to the other step. I'll do what I did here to the other step. I have done the same thing to the second piece of our damp part of our top. This is it. So now I'll go ahead and take the body measurement. I've marked out one inch for our zip allowance this is it one inch for a zip allowance i won't be taking my body measurement from the front part of the top because of the breast part it won't give me the accuracy i want the boldness of the breast will not give me the accuracy so i'll be taking the body measurement from the back part i have marked out the line for my zip so i'll go ahead and take my bust measurement and my waist measurement my bust point is 10 I've joined the shoulder. My boss point is 10. My other boss is 13. Okay. After the zipper line, with the zipper line, I'll place my tape and take my boss measurements. My boss measurement is 34. 34 divided by 4 is 8.5 or mark out 8.5 here on my waistline my waist measurement is 28 28 divided by 4 is 7 so I'll just connect the lines together I'll connect the lines together I'll do the same thing at the other side of the fabric. I'll just flip it over, mark one inch, take my bust measurement and my waist measurement. Okay, okay I've finished shaping my upper part and this is it. I've joined the both sides together, the front and the back. You pleat it like this. You first pleat once here, leaving out one inches for the zip at this side you leave one inches while the other side you leave one inches making it two inches remember the total number we got was 34 two inches for zipper allowance so at this end we'll leave out one inch after we fold here like this using two inches we we'll fold it like this using two inches we we'll leave out one inch for zip then for notch the center of your front eye your front bust here you notch the center you have a kissing print here. Here will go inside. This is where it will go in like this. To go in, here the first kissing print will be. To go in at the center part, the back that, the front that, the two front that, the joining part where you shaped it. This joining part, you have a kissing print there. Here, making it eight. Three at the back, two at the side, and three at the front, making it eight. Let me let me show you how it's done. I will join the smaller one first. I'll pin it so you see how it's done. I have used pins to hold up our place. This is look at how it looks like on the zipper part. On the zipper part, what I was trying to explain that time. Let me take it close so you can see on this zipper part. I just folded it once with two inches like this. This is the zipper part. You folded it one like this. I fold it in once 
with two inches. So I used my pin to hold it up. Use two inches here to fold it. Same thing. Leaving one inch extra, I folded it in like this inward. It's not facing the the pleat is not facing the zipper allowance. It's coming this way in when I pleat it together. And I'll stitch it up with my sewing machine. Then put the other step on it. As you can see, I've succeeded in pleating the two step. And this is how the top is looking after pleating it. This is the first step and this is the second step. Well pleated and I used the calculation I told you earlier about. I used three at the front, three at the back and two at the side. That's the number of pleats I had. And I used four inches on each kissing print four inches each so i'll go ahead now and attach the sleeve to it look at how it's over you will not stitch the end because you want to gather it you just sew straight run pull the rope and you see it gathering as you pull it together you touch the lace band Okay, I'm through gathering it. I finished gathering it, so I'll use this lace, this piece of lace for my band. I'll just go ahead and finish gathering it, and this is exactly 12 my elbow measurement. This is where the band will start from. So I measure this part of my hand, and it's 12. So I'll just go ahead and attach this right side facing each other, then I'll sew straight down. So I'll just take my round sleeve measurement and show you an exaggerated puff sleeve. I'll go ahead and attach it to my top. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. God bless you all. I hope you can see the pleated part of the, my pet, my top. Mm -hmm.